Hey, you chickadees. I'm Lee Rooster. You're in the hen house. We've got update or patch number 42 for Star Trek Fleet Command came out today, and I wanted to get the information on there. Uh, this one got released a little early, and we were able to look at it, and most of us are probably underwhelmed. Um, I'm curious about your discussions and what you think, and hope to see some comments down below that hopefully we can share with Scopely as well, and hopefully they'll look um, and all that is as well. So let's look at it. It is Update 42, Release Notes, Anthology. This is Lower Decks, Arc Part 2, slash, let's call it Anthology, and let's talk about why. Um, essentially, uh, not to be too negative, this is a hot steaming pile of trash uh, for an arc. Um, yeah, let me know if you think differently. I do think there are a few nuggets if you dig through the detritus. But that's a messy process. So let, let's look at it and talk about it and see what's going on. Now, if you were on the streams and Twitch and wondering, you're saying, hey, Lee Rooster, we've been talking about what was happening with the next Lower Decks arc. Some people were saying they don't have enough information uh, and enough material to make a, a, a second part to the arc. Well, it looks like you were right. Now, what, what it does look like is they would throw together enough drust so that we have plenty of filler to keep us from getting Deep Space Nine. So let's just remind them, we want you to give us Deep Space Nine and don't give us a bunch of leftover filler crap, all right? Because that would be nice. So let's dig in. Um, there's been a few a few different people been holding back their opinions. I'm trying to give you a moderated version of my opinion of this one. Uh, so come check us out on Twitch and we'll talk a little more openly about how I feel about this. So let's look. Uh, nice picture though. Like, let's see, the um, nice picture. And I am happy to see some different stuff. So, introducing Anthology. All right. Uh, the Star Trek universe spreads far and wide with a massive system and a fabled history. Let's see. Every commander has had a unique journey we'd like to focus on with this update. We'd like to welcome everyone to Star Trek Anthology. Over the next four weeks. So this is a four-weeker. All right. Um, usually they're around three. Um, commanders will have a unique story experience each week related to the original series, the next generation, and Discovery and Lower Decks. Um, complete events, collect event store currency, we'll see if that's worth it, um, and claim the rewards you see most valuable. We'll see what's worth it. Um, last but not least, claim the latest Lower Decks officers, Rutherford and Tendi, all right, to round out your great crew. Now, we, we were pretty much assured that Rutherford and Tendi were coming. They're in all the storyline. I know the speculation was, hey, you know, there's other great officers. You could add them too and round this out. Or not. So let's look. We're going to get now. What are we getting in this? The Lower Decks. Uh, new refits. Okay, we'll talk about these and why we feel the way we do. New Prime Research Node. And we'll talk about that. Two new Lower Decks officers. There's some positive there. 32 new missions. A lot of mission, a lot of story. Um, battle Pass, of course. Eight new avatars and five new frames. So those kind of go without uh, without saying. But let's let's see. So the new refits. The first one is um, the S31 Discovery refit. Increase the officer shards in Discovery recruit chest by 50%. And add Lorca to the pool of officers. That's this one down here. Okay. So that's cool. Right? It's a refit. Um, the thing is, it gives you increases the officer shards that you get from the normal discovery pool and adds Lorca. Um, problem with that? That's what we should already have for free. Now you can pay for something that you should have gotten for free as a quality of life upgrade. But that's what that is. All right. Um, now the Salvager refit, level 39 plus, will increase the amount of Devor Fisha parts from the concentrated Latinum refinery by 100%. Okay. It will also open new Latinum refinery options to trade Fisha parts in for regular ship parts based on Fisha tier. Tiers 1 through 9 provide 4 star ship parts, and tiers 10 through 12 provide 5 star ship parts. So Fisha parts will, when you run out and max out your Fishas and all that, you'll be able to use them for 4 and 5 star ship parts when you need those in the future. Okay. Um, also, you're getting more Devor Fisha parts by buying the skin, which we should probably be getting more parts through the grind of play, not through having to pay for a skin. So again, a, a miss on the quality of life here from Scopely. Um, and there's no Devor parts coming in even with that to help us make more fiches, right? Make the fiche love, you know? We can't get that either. Apparently, they'll sell us uh, some kind of uh, wrap skin later that gives us this, since that's it seems to be that's how we're giving you what you need. Um, I don't know, but not super thrilled um, on that 
the idea of what they do is okay. I just think it's stuff that we deserve all in the game. Let me know if you think differently or if you agree or somewhere in between. Um, please let me know. All right, so the new faction ships. There's some five-star five rare miners, Federation Klingon and Romulan factions, level 58 ships. So for all you level 58 and above Krakens, you got some miners. And maybe you'll fly them down into my part of the barrio and I can see them one day. I don't know. Um, but, you know, come cruising. All right. So we got the Varax ship added to the Romulan store, the Amalga ship added to the Klingons, and the USS Beatty, Beatty like Ned Beatty maybe, added to the Federation faction store. We see some pictures, green, Klingon, Yisky, there we are. All right. You know, uh, eventually I'll see them. I'll probably get base rated by one of these at some point, so I'll see them then. Um, but no, that means I'm asleep. So anyway, uh, new research. The Syndicate Prime node in the Galaxy Research Tree at level 27 and above will double the amount of Syndicate XP gained from the free daily chess. Okay, so a way for you to get double Syndicate XP. That speeds up your Syndicate progression. That's cool. We have other ways to buy that. And Syndicate XP is capped. It doesn't continue to go on forever, so... If you buy this, you quickly speed your way up to a cap that everyone's going to reach anyway over time. Now, I know there's some of you Krakens out there that long since capped this out and don't even know what Syndicate is anymore because you, you've maxed it out a long time ago. This is another way. And will this be something that even if you've already maxed out, you just feel you need to buy so you have more primes? Scopely is hoping that you are our target for that. Um, so let's see. Got to collect them all. There we are. All right. Now let's get into something that is actually possibly useful. New officers, Tendi. All right, Star Trek Fleet and Tendi and Rutherford. These officers have below deck abilities. Instead of a captain maneuver to support their assigned ship, um, of course, we know, don't put these put these below decks. This is where they shine. All right, so Tendi is going to be epic. I was hoping for Ransom, Captain Freeman, or animated Captain Riker, personally. Um, no dice. Um, so Tendi, now available as an epic officer, her below deck ability is fix it right up. It is increasing whole health pers uh, whole health hit points by X percent. That's good. All right, this is good. This is this is actually something that'll be useful. All right, so it, that in strengthens the hull. That's longer hostile grinding time. That's longer lasting in a PvP battle potentially. So just a little bit more than the other person. That's what you need in PvP. All right, her officer ability is yay friends increases health of all officers by X percent. We you know we've got that. She's not there for this. Um, so, and, and then we go into Rutherford. He's going to be a rare officer. And um, below deck's ability is cybernetic overclocking. It right? increases shield hit points or shield health points by X percent. Again, this is good. Helps you last longer in a fight. Helps you mitigate more damage. Last longer in a PvP fight or in hostile grinding. So again, those are good. These are all going to give you extras once you exceed the 300%. Uh, below decks, and if you're not trying to do stat stacking. So nothing wrong there, really. Um, the officers are fine. So uh, I, it's the first thing I'm saying is not crap. So um, anyway, uh, new missions. All right. Anthology comes with new stories for each commander to experience from a different place in Star Trek history. I have no problem with us having these stories. There's 32 new missions. Each week we'll focus on learning more about the crews from the original series, Next Generation, and Discovery. And for Lower Deck fans, new missions will be obtainable in the latest Battle Pass. Okay, cool. So we're going to have some stuff for level 10 and above for Lower Decks, as well as level 25 and above. Uh, original Series will have something at level 51 um, and above. Uh, they do have a level 25, so that helps apply. They always did shoot kind of high for the original series on that. Um and the uh, Discovery is going to have an issue at level 35, even though that's tied to the original series in this layout. I don't know. Next Generation. All right. Hustle Culture, level 25, and Unearth at level 40 plus. All right. So lots of story. So they're saying we're going to give you a lot of story cobbled together to take your time. Now, I don't mind the story, but usually the story is a bit extra. They need to make the story good and useful. And, you know, and we'll see. I don't think it takes the place of exciting mechanics and doing stuff. I think it's it stretches out just how hard can you stall on Deep Space Nine is answered here. New lows, new lows, people. 
All right, so of course we get a battle pass. We're going to get some avatars, which will be cool. Um, you know, cool stuff from Lower Decks. I don't have a problem with any of those. Peanut hamper included, some frames. Uh, there's some bug fixes, which they need to do. Uh, let's look here and uh, pop over to give you a different view. All right, here we are. So we said, well, we got an event store, so that's got to be something, right? Well, yeah, yeah. All right. Um, well, of course, people, what people tell me, they say, as long as I can get Picard and work on Jayla, I'll be fine. So let me just scroll in here and look for Picard, Jayla. Okay. All right. You can get some of the Ferengis and the below deck officers. All right. Okay. So they're not sort, you know, if you remember, remember when the duality arc store was so great, everybody said, let's say that the duality arc itself was great because the store was so great. You're going to need to keep remembering how great that arc store was because this one is not. It is following in the anthology series, in my opinion. And let me know what you think. I think it is a cobbled together bunch of leftovers. Um, now, that doesn't mean that you have all the leftovers you need. There may be some stuff. There are some good officers in here like Quark. Right, is there um, definitely um, in Mariner if you want them, right? Um, the ships, there's a lot of ships. There's a lot of ships, except for the Meridian that are generally gotten some other way. Um, but you're gonna have to prioritize the things that you need to get. Separatist D3, stay away from that. Um, you know, we'll talk more on stream and maybe in other videos about that, about what you need. But um, it's a lot of leftovers. You know, you know, you go to Grandma's house and you love it. And she sets out all those different Tupperware things that she has uh, saved leftovers for the whole week. And she's got them out there for you. Uh, and and sometimes it's a really nice meal. It's, that's kind of what we're getting here. The question is, is this sometimes going to be that really nice meal? I love you, Grandma. And uh, you're a great cook. And all those food are sometimes nice. But sometimes you do want something new. So um, this ain't it, in my opinion. But um, let me know down below what you think. Remember to like and subscribe. Share this info with your alliance and help promote. Uh, subscribing really helps. And we do some live streaming on Sunday mornings on the YouTube channel. But every other day, pretty much, we're on Twitch for the live stream. So come drop out there. Ask me some questions about how you're feeling and uh, about what you think. I'm curious to see what you have to say. Anyway, links to my Discord below as well. Y'all take care. Cock-a-doodle-doo. <laughs>